Well, one thing is for certain, there is plenty of alcohol to sample in Austin this week of South By, but one sip too much could mean trouble, something a Texas lawmaker learned the hard way this week. We told you yesterday about the arrest of Democratic State Representative Naomi Gonzalez of El Paso. Her drunk driving case is shining a negative light on the culture of alcohol in the capital. As KXAN's Chris Sadegui reports now, all of Austin is drinking more and more. You've got Blue Moon and Budweiser trucks blocking the street down there. On this end, it's Bud Light and Miller Light. It's the time of the year when alcohol is overflowing in Austin. And as we've seen this week, not everyone is drinking responsibly. Something about the spring makes it harder to keep that little thing called control. Yeah, I think I've been killing it pretty good. Well, with a can in each hand, no argument here. A couple beers an hour. The delivery guys are struggling just to keep up because there's a lot of people who just want to get, yeah. And with the St. Paddy's Day holiday this weekend, there's one thing everyone will need. I like getting, uh, you know, uh, a little drunk, having fun here and there, but it's, you always got to be responsible about stuff. Gabrielle Nostande's trial and Naomi Gonzalez's arrest have hinted at a culture of alcohol during the session that also reared its head in a campaign ad. Each legislative session, Tuffy Hamilton hosts a lobby-sponsored booze fest called Tuffy Tuesdays, right on Capitol grounds. So how much is Austin really drinking? In 2011, $58 million were spent on drinks, $67 million last year. Tax revenue allocated to the city from alcohol has nearly doubled from the year 2000. That's a heavy flow, and it's up to the swimmers to make sure it doesn't flood. There's plenty of pedicabs in town. We have a great taxi company, so if you're not doing it the right way, you might as well just stay home. It's cheaper anyways. And all the drinking keeping officers busy. In just the last week, they have made 188 DWI arrests. We're downtown Austin. Chris Sadegui, KXAN News. All right, and some more math for you now. Alcohol remains big business here in town. In the last three months of 2012, bars, hotels, and restaurants raked in more than $120 million in alcohol sales alone. Last month, the W Hotel made the most from selling alcohol in the city with nearly $545,000 in revenue. The Driscoll Hotel came in second, followed by the All Season or the uh, Four Seasons Hotel, rather.